Well, hello and welcome, welcome back. Today I'm going to answer a question by one of my viewers. I hope I don't butcher your name way too much. From Kavi Vendan. The question is, hi, how can I use Crush VST in LMMS? So without further ado, let me get started. So the VST in question right now is Crush, and it's a bit crusher. There's different ways that you can use this VST, but I'm going to show you the way that I've used it right now in LMMS. So at the moment, I have a kick that I uh, just uh, placed on the song editor, and um, I used it straight from LMMS, from the drum synth. I went into CR8000, and I used the kick and the rim. And this is what it sounds like without anything added to the kick. All right, now when you add this VST, the bit crusher, I went in and I used the one that says punch. So you could just, you know, go through them and then find out what works best for you. Right now I use the one punch because it adds a little bit of, uh, it makes the kick stand out a little more, plus it adds a little more uh, dirty uh, feeling to it at the end tail of the kick. So let's take a listen to it. So that's with the VST, let's listen to it without it. It sounds okay, but when you add this, it, it gives it a little bit more punch. Now, I wanted this VST to sound a little bit louder, so I went into uh, the effects channel and I added this bass booster. And I didn't do anything to it, I just added it right to it. And then this is what it sounds like with it. Now without it, it sounds stronger with the crusher, but then when you add a little bit of the bass booster, it comes out a lot stronger. All right, so that's how I use the uh, crush VST for my kicks to make it sound a little bit louder. Now, when I come down here to the ERS drum, I added that, that effects as well, but let's listen to this uh, 808 without the, the, the Crush VST in it. Let's listen to it without the kick. So that's what it sounds like right there. Then we add the crush. And it just dirties up that 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 um that kick. And to this one what I add was the bull into the uh, 808. So let's put it all together. I took a little bit of this crush thing out and I just, it has the, the uh, drive at 100%. Let's take it out. Take it out. Let's add it. So those are some ways that you can use a bit crusher to uh, add some dirtiness to your 808. 
so it sounds a little bit more dirty uh it has that little bounce to it you can make your kick stand out a little more uh by adding more uh, I guess uh, bottom notes to it if that's what you want to call it um, and, and it just gives it more flavor to the kick then when you put everything together in the mix it sounds a little better obviously I didn't do any EQ or anything like that to it I just wanted to show you what you can do with this VST so again thank you so much to Kavi Vandan for asking me to show you guys how to use this VST crush and if anybody else has any more questions or uh, how to use different VSTs or how to make a beat, the suggestions are more, more than welcome. And my goal is to answer these questions at least once a week, uh, every Tuesday, and that is my goal. So again, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to hit that button like, don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell notification button as well. Thank you very much, and have a blessed day.